The flow of the Mississippi River makes up the soundtrack for a normal workday at the University of Minnesota's St. Anthony Falls Laboratory. Built on top of the 10,000-year-old St. Anthony Waterfall in 1938, Saffel is home to a variety of unique projects that harness the Mississippi's natural resources. Water enters the building on the upstream side of the falls, travels through the building, and exits toward the downstream of the falls. And so that really sets up a great environment for us to do really important research for the state of Minnesota as well as for the U.S. Um, to explore questions, um, basic research questions that really um, cause us to wonder about how nature works, to work on problems of energy and also our environment. Saffel primarily conducts research on energy, the environment, and health. The facility holds monthly tours, started in fall 2015, to show members of the Minneapolis community what the building on Hennepin Island across from the skyline really does. I got a sneak peek of some research, including a project about Delta land loss. And it's a fact that one-sixth of the world population lives on deltas. So studying deltas is really crucial because it's really fertile soil and you have tremendous or very good fresh water. It's a fact that the delta is sinking at a rate of uh, the land that is sinking is equivalent to one football field every hour. So every one hour we are losing one football field equivalent area, of, of area. by area, yeah. by area of delta land. A delta is a triangular mass of sediment deposited at the mouth of a river, usually having several outlets. It appears that the rivers that are going into the ocean carry a lot of sediments with them, right? We typically build additional structures to the side of the river channels to prevent flooding. So thereby we are preventing flooding. But unknowingly, we are preventing sediments from getting into the ocean, right? These sediments come all the way close to the delta and they, they are dumped at the delta. Just because of the sheer addition of mass, the delta is... This project isn't the only one focusing on deltas at Saffel. The so-called Jurassic Tank Delta Basin is the pride and joy of the lab, according to my tour guide. It uses layers of sediment that lie beneath a river to tell its geological history. The basic research questions are, as we adjust how much sediment we're feeding in, or how much water, or the ratio between the two, what does the stratigraphy of the delta look like? Because when we go out in the field, that's how we get data. We, we, we take the core sample, right, and we slice through, so we'll get one core of uh, soil. So the way that we reconstruct that here is we'll change the color of the sediment after we double the amount of sediment that we're feeding into, right? So then we know if we see that color of sediment in our stratigraphy, we know that corresponds to when we double the sediment. So it allows us to map backwards what we did. And that's what, you know, one of the things that geologists are always trying to do is map backwards what they see. Saffel's researchers are made up of University of Minnesota faculty, graduate students, and people coming from outside the university. Here we, we uh, really focus on our graduate students that are enrolling in graduate programs here at the University of Minnesota. And that's really a task of the student and the faculty finding a nice connection where they can, where the student can come and explore and really develop their research training. The one-of-a-kind facility at Saffel draws in researchers from all over the world. It is uh, a great reason why people come here and use this facility. The university provides some funding to Saffel, but much of its funding comes from the government, such as the Environmental Protection Agency or the Minnesota Department of Transportation. Grants and private investors also contribute. So a lot of our funding is using those taxpayer dollars, um, and so it just makes sense for us to work locally and really try to give back in that way to, do, to, to bring leading research and, and creative solutions to these state projects. To learn more about the St. Anthony Falls Laboratory, check out the next tour on December 17th. Ellen Schmidt, Murphy News Service.